Hi everyone, welcome back to Learning English Pro. In this video lesson, we will be taking a detailed look at English vocabulary relating to streets and roads. First up though, a big thank you to Abdul Kabaya for his suggestion for the topic for today's video. If you have a suggestion for a video, why not get in touch in the comments below. For today's lesson, get ready to learn over 90 new English terms to help you talk about and understand everything to do with streets and roads throughout our cities and countrysides. And as usual, I'm posting the extensive word list in the description below, so make sure to revise that after the video. First up, let's discuss what the difference is between a street and a road. The word road is a general term for any type of paved thoroughfare. And when it comes to using the word road, the term is used more to describe roadways between towns and sometimes in suburbs. Streets are generally associated with roads in towns and cities. Generally, the closer you are to an urban or city centre, the more likely the road will be referred to as a street. As you go outwards towards countryside, they will be referred to as roads. Let's move on to the glossary part of this lesson. The main thing associated with streets and roads is of course the car. Our streets and roads are illuminated by a street lamp. This may also be referred to as a street light. Lots of streets and roads will have a street sign. This may simply be referred to as a sign. A common type of sign is a traffic sign. This gives information to people driving cars about the road condition and traffic ahead. These type of signs are hung on a sign post. This is the vertical pole which is used to display these signs. It can also simply be referred to as a post. Most roads and streets will have what's called traffic lights or traffic signal. The colors of a traffic signal are red, yellow in American English, or in British English, it's referred to as amber, and our last colour is, of course, green. Traffic lights and traffic signals are commonly found at a crosswalk. This is what it's called in American English. This is the part of the road where we can safely cross the street. And in British English, it is referred to as a zebra crossing. You may also hear it referred to in British English as a pedestrian crossing. If you've never heard the term pedestrian before, it simply means a person who travels by walking. Another term you can hear quite often to describe streets in a city centre is pedestrianised street. This is a street which is solely for the use of pedestrians. Another common way to travel on our streets and roads is the bicycle. This word is commonly shortened to bike. People who work delivering parcels and messages on a bike are known as a courier and these can be found in lots of cities. On lots of streets in the city, you will find a bike rack. This is where you store and secure your bike. Becoming more common these days are bike lockers. These are probably more secure but cost more money. Also to be found in lots of modern city centres is the bike station. This is where you can rent a bike for a few hours and is usually done through some type of membership or subscription. Some roads will have a dedicated area for bikes to travel on. These can be referred to as a bicycle lane, a bike lane, or maybe a cycle lane. What does this term lane mean? The term lane refers to the different lines of traffic in a road. You may hear someone refer to them as road lanes. The lanes which can be found on a street or a road are usually indicated by what's called a pavement marking, road marking, or sometimes it can simply be called a line or referring to its colour, a white line. 
where two or more streets or roads meet is called an intersection in American English and a junction in British English. And getting back to the topic of lanes, a lane which is dedicated to a bus is simply called a bus lane. And the bus will stop for passengers at the bus stop. The term bus stop can refer to the traffic sign which indicates the bus to stop. It can also relate to the bus shelter. This is the small covered area which protects waiting passengers from the weather. And typically every bus stop will have a schedule to tell you the time of the next available bus. The area at the side of the road where we walk is called a sidewalk in American English and path in British English. It can also be referred to generally as the pavement. A sidewalk which is lined with bricks is described as paved. With a sidewalk or a path, the edge of it where it meets the road is called the curb. Check out the different spellings in British and American English on screen right now. The small channel beneath the curb for rainwater is known as the gutter. This leads to what's called the drain or the drain pipe. This helps remove rain or flood water from the road surface. Lots of sidewalks and paths are constructed using a material known as concrete. This material is also used in the construction of roads. Another material commonly used on the surface of roads is asphalt. Now I've highlighted the PH here in this word as we use the F pronunciation, asphalt. Another type of material which is similar is called tarmac. Although this is more commonly associated with the runways in airports. If you've been walking around the streets a lot, you may want to rest for a while and you can do that on a bench. This is what we call public seating, which is typically made from wood. Our next item of street furniture has a few different names in British and American English. In British English, it can be referred to as the bin, a rubbish bin, or simply the rubbish. In American English, it can be called a trash can, a garbage can, or the trash or the garbage. So lots of options depending where you're living. Our next street object is a bit more decorative, a statue. Statues can tell you a lot about a city or a town. And they are a type of monument. The term monument can refer to anything decorative or historic, which is significant and a landmark. Another type of monument which you can see in the street is a fountain. These are monuments which have some element of water displayed to them. The object you can see on screen is called a bollard in British English. It's used for security and parking measures. It would be referred to as a small post in American English. Another safety element on our streets is the fire hydrant. This provides water to fire crews who may be battling a fire on a street or a road. Along our streets and roads, you can find lots of different types of railings. This type is called an iron railing. It may also be referred to as a cast iron railing. Another more general term we could use is a fence. Another type of barrier which is common along a street or a road is a wall. Along every street and road, you will find lots of different types of building. The front of a building facing the street is known as a facade. You could also refer to it simply as the front of the building. The facade of a store or a shop on the street is known as a storefront or a shop front. Restaurants that are located on a street may have what's called outdoor seating or outdoor dining. And when a home is on a street or a road, it will typically have a front yard. This is what it's called in American English. 
In British English, it's called a front garden. And these terms refer to the grass area, which is in front a lot of homes. The area where the car enters the garden is known as the driveway in American English or the drive in British English. This is where we park our cars outside our homes. Parking your car on the street is known as street parking. Some streets will have what's called a parking zone. On some streets, you may need a parking permit or there may be some type of ticketing system where you will need to pay for your parking. Some areas will be restricted to residential parking only. An area of the street reserved for taxis or cabs is known as a taxi stand in American English or a taxi rank in British English. You may have heard of a street called an avenue. An avenue is a street which is lined with trees. A structure which carries a road over a river or obstacle is known as a bridge. A major road which has multiple lanes of traffic is known as a freeway or an expressway in American English. And when it comes to British English, it may be referred to as a motorway or as a carriageway. And can you believe it? That brings us to the end of this English vocabulary lesson on streets and roads. Don't forget to check out the extensive word list in the description below. If you're like me and have a passion for English vocabulary and English language, you should head over to my YouTube channel where you'll find a wealth of resources to help you learn lots of vocabulary on a range of really interesting topics. So head over there right now. And if you can't find what you're looking for, let me know in the comments and I'll be only too happy to make a video for you. Coming up on screen are some video suggestions just for you, along with the link to subscribe to my YouTube channel. So hit that to stay updated on all my latest English lessons. That just leaves me to say, I hope you have a fantastic day. And remember, keep learning English like a pro.